Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental Tutoring. I don't know what it is, but I've been getting a lot of emails and messages lately of people asking me if they should get into the dental hygiene program or the dental assisting program um, regarding if there's any work out there. Okay, so I do always say, and you will hear me say this often, but it does depend on where you live. I live here in Kitchener, Ontario, so I can only speak for Ontario pretty much as a whole. I don't know how the job or the hourly pay is anywhere else, but I can tell you what it's like in Ontario. And let me honestly say this, we need more dental hygienists and we definitely need more dental assistants. When I became a dental professional age 19, there were a lot of dental assistants and a lot of dental hygienists out there to the point where everybody pretty much said, if you get into this field, you might get a job, you might not get a job. It's hard to say, you know, but if that's, if that's something that you want to do, you should go through um, school for it. Because if that's something that you want to do, you know, things can always change so often, right? So if people told me back then, and people did, that if you want to become a dental hygienist or a dental assistant, mm, be careful because you might not find work afterwards. Yet by the time I was done school, they needed dental hygienists and dental assistants once again. But while I was working, I'd say it started to die down about a year later where we had almost too many dental hygienists. Assist, um, assisting is always okay. We always seem to be looking, or you know, from my 14 years experience we've, we've we've always had not a hard time you know I should say assistants have always been able to find a job somewhere but it's it is hygienist mainly where it's hard to find a job it's hard to find a good job you know whatever but don't listen to people that might tell you oh well you shouldn't go into school for this because you might not find a job you know what guys it doesn't matter because things can change so often but right now we need hygienists and we need assistants Currently, the one office where I'm working in, who we've been looking for a dental assistant for like a month. Um, we've had maybe two resumes, maybe three. That's it. And the resumes we have gotten just, they're not a right fit for us. So even if we wanted to pick one of those dental assistants, they're just not a right fit for us. So we wouldn't hire them anyway but we're starting to get desperate. Like we need a dental assistant. And hygienist is the same thing. It's like there's none out there. Um, the hygienist at my office, um, she was sick for a couple of days last week um, and um, a couple of days a week before that. And I was looking for a temp dental hygienist to help us out. I got like nobody, it was crazy. We had to cancel the whole day, I think maybe twice. So we really need dental hygienists. So the good news is, if you're looking to be a dental hygienist or a dental assistant, you should do it because you will be paid like premium to help people out, honestly. You know, gone are the days where um, people would try to lowball dental assistants and dental hygienists because they know that, well, if this person says no to that hourly rate, the next person might say yes. Whereas now it's so hard to even get a proper resume. And then for somebody to come in for an interview who, who fits the part, right? You want to offer them a good hourly rate because you don't want them to go anywhere else. So you would be paid a premium. I know as a temp dental hygienist, you can pretty much ask for anything because it will be less than them having to cancel the entire day. So if you guys are almost done school, awesome, you will find work, at least in Ontario. So I'm speaking for Ontario. I don't know how it is anywhere else, but honestly, you guys will find work and you should be paid a premium. So I don't know how it is where you all live, but hopefully it's not too bad. Um, but in Ontario, we need people. Like honestly, we need people like yesterday. So I just wanted to hop on to let you guys know that. This is what I have honestly seen and I work in a dental office twice a week and it's the same any office that I seem to go to. We need people. So good luck and make sure to study to get good marks and then start working. If you're in Ontario looking for a job, let me know. I can help you. So thank you guys so much for watching.